This video is for 28214 Palos Verdes Drive East in RPV. This is your street. It's a Saturday, midday. So, this driveway here goes down to uh, several neighbors, um, and it, it is our borderline of our parcel. Also, this driveway here does not encroach on our lot, according to the agent I met. Uh, our property line is the fence itself. That goes to a flag-lotted neighbor behind. So here's your asphalt driveway. Comes down to a slope to a kind of a turnabout. Two-car garage that is a converted carport. This is the breezeway that was probably converted at the same time. Uh, your old electrical panel was there. Now it's on that wall. Here's your original front entrance here. I'm going to show you the exterior first, which should uh, come out in the front part of the video because there's a sort of a bonus feature. So you get all this land here to this fence, all the way down to the corner of this fence down here, which I would say on elevation is probably 25 feet from where my feet are to the, to the ground of that palm tree. Now here, that's a level pad from about here to this barn. It's a wood barn, wood frame barn, about the size of a one car garage. Uh, it would take another video just to walk down there and show you it, but maybe you wouldn't want to even work with it. I don't know. So I'm not going to make that trip, but all this land is yours. Everything's pretty original in the home. Um, let me show you underneath here. This is underneath the bedrooms and bathrooms. Let me get a zoom in here. Oh, that didn't help the lighting, so let me zoom back out. We'll probably get better lighting on the other side. Let me do this here. Okay. Here's your sort of side yard. This is about 20 feet wide. Patio here. Here's your AC. These are, you know, you can tell these original windows and frames. Here's part of your pool equipment. Spoiler, there is a pool. This again is the property line that is a driveway to this neighbor. Here's the pool's surface. Here's another view underneath the house. Here's a covered patio. <clears throat> Could be reinforced generally okay but here's your gas meter here's your view from here and then here's sort of an improvised hobby area you can get the, the vibe on that all right now I'm gonna go into the house starting at the front door here start with the uh, beds and baths now this is a living room with the fireplace here but there's a bathroom over here you can turn these into sliders potentially and make this your master if you wanted to it's a good space it's like 14 by 20 22 maybe even uh, you will need new electrical here so that could be one bedroom, the master, if you open that bath, 
you would still have one, two, three bedrooms and a guest bath here. Um, so let's go see that. Got original hardwood floors here. Here's one of the three bedrooms. Smells a bit like water in here. I noticed uh, some roof leaks. Why is this not opening now? Let's see. Okay, your FAU and water heater. FAU looks like a newer unit. Water heater can't tell. Okay, so along with that big room I just showed you with the fireplace, here's the bathroom you could potentially reclaim as the master bath if you wanted to turn that room into it. Otherwise right now it's the guest bathroom. There's no other guest bathroom. I just realized what I pointed to earlier around here is actually the master, current master. So again, sorry, bedroom, 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 guest bath, potential conversion into the master here. Here's your other guest bedroom. The second bedroom we've seen. Now here's your original master. This is about maybe 15 by 15. And its bathroom is here, three quarter bath. So if you were to claim that other bathroom as the master, this could be walled off made into a uh, Jack and Jill, because there's a bedroom here, bedroom here. That would leave two beds, one bath on this side. Third bedroom, one bath. Potential master bath and master bedroom. So right now it's a current three, two. Um, but if you converted this into the bedroom, that would be your potential master there again. So that's all beds and baths here. From the front entrance, you're coming into what would be the remaining dining room. And your only living area. If you converted that bedroom, this is your only living area left, including this. Here's the kitchen and wet bar. It has refrigerator built in. Pretty cool mixing station here. Let me give you this view. Very small kitchen, about eight by nine. Okay, so again, if you converted that into the master, you're losing your living space, living just with this. Now, here's the breezeway between the house, the original house and the carport that was converted into a garage, likely without the benefit of permits. So you wanna check permits for this area and for the action that happened in the garage as it was a carport, according to the agent that I met. But this could be your master because you do have a, what I think is either an original or part of that old conversion, the very old conversion here because the electrical is uh, very old. So in this breezeway, they've made a three-quarter bath. Nice living space, but this is also a fantastic master. It would be the biggest bedroom, and you can see that all working out. Lastly, we'll go into the carport being used as a garage. So carport apparently was just this wall, the covering, and the rest of it to be opened. So you can see they didn't finish this. So this was open. No door. So here's your very, very old panel. Okay. Coming up on 
10 minutes. That'll be the end of this video now. I'll end it with uh, this view of this conversion. That's a bad view. I'll end it here.